so welcome back to another video and I think I spotted something. Wait, no, that just a spotted turtle. Oh, that was so cringy. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the spotted turtle or Clemmy's Guatata. Now I know you guys probably hate my pronunciation of Latin, but I didn't take Latin and I'm very good at I'm very bad at speaking out of the languages. But let's start talking about this really awesome turtle, the spotted turtle. So coming in with our first category, we have the size and appearance. So this is another small species of turtle. So far, all I've talked about were small turtles. But this guy reaches between one and a half inches to about five inches. So bigger than a mud turtle, but still not a big species of turtle. Now, this turtle is actually very easy to know why it's called a spotted turtle. Because its shell is all black, but then it has these bright yellow spots. You also find these bright spots on the head and the tail, which are also a black color. The legs are also a black color, but they often don't have the spots on them. So now you might say, this color is terrible for hiding. Well, actually it's very good camouflage. The black body and the yellow spots actually pretty well mimic that of a forest floor, or more pro appropriately, a area of water like a swamp or something that's kind of shallow and has a lot of dead leaves in it. And in there, a spotted turtle can actually hide really well. But now let's start talking about their diet. The diet of a spotted turtle is much like many other aquatic turtles around here. They are omnivores. So you'll often find them eating insects, inverts, tadpoles, fish, and salamanders, because they're often found in areas where there are a lot of vernal pools, and they'll go in there and they'll take on the salamanders, and they'll eat them as well as their young and all that. But they also do eat a lot of vegetation. They'll eat duckweed and that stuff, which will also, as I was saying before with camouflage, the duckweed is actually, their black body and yellow spots actually helps them hide really well in the duckweed. The habitat of the spotted turtle is pretty cool. They're found in bogs, swamps, marshes, streams, ditches, but they're really only found in shallow areas of water. They actually often will avoid deep water because they're not the best swimmers. While they are good swimmers, they would much rather be in shallower water areas, but that also makes them more susceptible to when it gets drier. So in the drier months of the year, they're more concentrated in the smaller swamps and ponds where the water is still shallow, but there's not as much because a lot of it's dried up. These turtles also like a softer substrate, which is perfect in swamps and marshes because let me tell you, that substrate is really soft and I can just go knee deep in some places. But these guys also like aquatic vegetation. And I, I said before, they love duckweed because they eat it and it really looks, matches their shell with camouflage. Now, I actually haven't found any spotted turtles, but that's because I haven't gotten a lot of turtle swamping in the spring, which is where I put on boots and I put on waterproof pants and I go in the swamps in the early spring when the water is freezing cold looking for turtles. I haven't done that in a while, but the best time to look for these guys is early spring before a lot of the vegetation overtakes the swamps where their camouflage works perfectly. So before their camouflage works great, you can find these guys. And they are found across the entire state of New Jersey. So you got a pretty large area to find them. But now let's get into the interest of facts. So something really interesting that scientists haven't actually figured out why is that the left side always has more spots than the right side. Now there are no turtles that we know of at the moment that have more spots on the right side of the shell than the left. And they do not know why that is. That just is how it is. And these turtles are actually found all the way from Canada down to Florida. So they have a pretty big range. And in a lot of that range, they have to bermate a lot of the year. And in five out of six of the New England states, they are actually a protected species. So if you guys like this video and you can spot that like button, don't forget to hit it. And if you want to see more and you can spot that subscribe button, hit it to see more of those. And I'll see you guys on the next video when we're going to be talking about another species or maybe, just maybe, it'll be warm enough to go herping. All right, see you guys on the next video.